Warning, spoilers for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you have not played the game, or at least seen a playthrough, please click off of this video now. There is your spoiler warning, now let's get to the actual content of this video. So, in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, there are 8 total party members, 5 who are permanent and 3 who are temporary. Today I wanted to talk about the temporary party members and if they were meant to be permanent. I'm going to be excluding Melos because, well, he's the main villain. You can never play as him. He's the main antagonist. He's cut. <laughs> but let's talk about Van Damme and Jin. Two characters who I believe could have been permanent party members at some point, at least in development. Now, let's talk Van Damme first. Now, I have evidence for and against both Van Damme and Jin. For Van Damme, we know that one, he is a playable character during Chapter 3. If Van Damme was not intended to be a playable character, nor a permanent party member, why would they let you play as him? It makes sense in Chapter 1 that you can't play as Malos because he's the main villain, and you can never play as Malos. That's just how it is. And then we get to Van Damme in the actual game, where you can give him pouch expansions, and you can give him accessory expansions, which you can give the permanent party members. And not to mention, in New Game Plus, along with every other permanent party member, he also gets a hidden affinity chart. Why does he have a hidden affinity chart? He's only ever in the party in Chapter 3. They deliberately had to code that in, because New Game Plus was not originally in the game. It was a patch that came later. So they specifically chose to give him a hidden affinity chart. And that only unlocks a New Game Plus. I mean, you have to play through New Game before you get to New Game Plus. So anyone who's played through the game before and is playing through New Game Plus knows what happens to Van Damme. They know he dies. <laughs> so it, it's just baffling to me that they would add hidden affinity charts. Now, there is some evidence against Van Damme. Uh, mainly his death is a part of the story. It's a, it's a major part of the beginning in Chapter 4. Because not only does his death open up the Mark Group, a very sizable side mode that you're most likely going to be using a lot. His death is also the reason that Mithra awakens. Had Vandom not have died, Rex would have never awakened Mithra. So it was pretty crucial to the plot that Vandom had to die. It's also the fact that his Blade of Rock becomes one of Rex's main blades. At least in cutscenes. You don't have to use rock anywhere else. <laughs> but there's also something interesting we can find in his voice files. Van Damme does not have voice lines for Morag or Zeke. He meets Zeke, but he never refers to him as such. And he just never meets Morag. So, was Van Damme a permanent party member at some point in development? Maybe. Do I wish he was? Yeah. Now, we have to come to the conclusion of what Van Damme would have been had he been a permanent party member. You know, like, what role would he be? Now, usually I see Rex as the jack of all trades, Nia's the healer, Tora's the physical tank, Morag's the evasion tank, and Zeke is your DPS character. Van Damme, I would have liked to seen him be the main ether tank. I, I, cause you know, Van Damme can mess with ether very much. He's able to make quick work of Akos and Abrona, who can mess with ether particles, and he can even disperse ether miasma with rock. So I think Van Damme being the main ether user or the main ether tank would have been his role. Now let's talk about Jin. Jin is an interesting case, because he's the only one out of the three permanent party members who is in the party for two chapters. He's in Chapter 1, but you can't play as him. But in Chapter 8, you can play as Jin when he joins the party. Why do they even give you this ability? <laughs> Think about that. They had to specifically give you the ability to play as Jin. And you're not 
allowed to play as Jin for very long. I mean, you only get to use him through the land of Moritha up until the Torn and Titan. And then he just leaves the party. He just heads up with Malos into the world tree. So... Why? It, it just begs question, like, why would they even make him playable then? And you can get Van Damme and Jin to level 99. It's possible. They have stats for being at level 99. There's also something interesting in the voice lines. For some reason, Jin has voice lines for Tora, Morag, and Zeke. He's never in the party with Tora, Morag, or Zeke. He is in the party with Rex and Mia, at least in Chapter 1. And in halfway through Chapter 8, it's literally just Rex and Jin. There's no point for him having lines for Tora, Morag, or Zeke. He calls Tora Fuzzball, though, so that's fine. But what I thought was weird is in the challenge mode, the land of challenge. There is a Jin exclusive challenge where you play as Jin. And as far as I'm aware, it's the only way to play as him after chapter eight. They gave one to Tora, who's a permanent party member. Why specifically Jin? They didn't make one for Van Dam. They didn't make one for Rex. Nia, Morag, or Zeke, but they did give one to Tora and Jin. It, it, it's just weird. And of course the evidence against Jin is that, well, he's a villain, he dies, and the fact that you can't customize him, you can't put on any accessories or pouch, you can't look at any of that. He doesn't have an affinity chart. And at, at least he did eventually become a party member in Torna, because, you know, that's his whole backstory. So, uh, what role would Jin have been? Uh, honestly, I think Jin could have been a mix of Morag and Zeke. The evasiveness of Morag, and the just the sheer amount of damage that Zeke can put out. I, I He would have been a weird... He would have been... Mm, not glass cannon. He's, Jin has pretty good defense. But he would have been the main evasion DPS character if you needed a mix of Morag and Zeke. So uh, that's all for today. That's just what I wanted to talk about. It's just something interesting that I thought about. You know, had they were they going to be permanent? Maybe. Uh, I certainly think so. At one point in development, they were supposed to be permanent. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Were they supposed to be permanent? Because I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be.